I'm gonna share with you the settings that I use to watch movies and you're not going to like it, okay? So let me explain. I'm talking about motion clarity and you know that movies are 24 frames and 30 frames per second. And you might think, man, that's just the way it is. It has always been like that and that's the way it's gonna be forever. I don't agree and I'm gonna explain you why. I'm used to play games as a PC gamer at high frame rates, okay? And on top of that, that high frame rate is still not enough because this is a sample and whole display and when you move the camera it looks blurry, okay? It looks ugly, it looks blurry to me. So, I can no longer watch low frame rate content, I cannot. And in my opinion, this is what's gonna happen. The new generation growing up is going to play games because everybody's playing video games so people are gonna start playing games with the higher and higher end gaming PCs and gaming consoles and higher frame rate and higher frame rate after you get used to that after you get used to the responsiveness the fluidity the motion clarity how can you go back and watch Avatar for example I was watching the trailer for the new Avatar movie it looks so ugly man so ugly how can you spend so much money into making those beautiful uh, colorful HDR images and give me 24 or 30 it's like 24 or even less of those it looks so bad in movement and that movie for example has a lot of panning shots it has a lot of camera movement and it looks horrendous horrendous how can I cannot understand how can they just be okay with that it's just the standard just the way it is it's just keep doing the same thing again and again and it's gonna be just just the way it is it looks bad man it looks terrible so here's the justification for that low frame rate oh the problem is the the actors they just look fake okay well let's think about a movie like avatar <laughs> most of the movie is just action beautiful vistas uh, graphics that cgi goodness but let's say you're right let's say the actors they look fake at higher frame rate and actually there was a movie i know that was uh, will smith that was recorded at 120 frames and 30 frames and I saw some opinions about experts and a movie and they were saying oh Will Smith was the the actors in general they were looking fake and it's, it's bad 120 is just not for movies it just looks bad I disagree but let's say that they are right okay let's say that yeah it is it is true the actors don't look good at high frame rate okay well then use AI or use a post-production technique or something and give me the motion clarity for the rest of the movie and just cap the frame rate of the actors is that impossible video games do that all the time you see video games for example ray tracing you, you look at a reflection on spider-man you look at the ray trace reflection of the pedestrians walking on the street and the the animations is like 30 frames so the game might be running at 120 or more but you still have some elements on the game that are lower frame rate they can do that with a movie absolutely so avatar which is all about cgi spectacular views hdr colorful all of that they can easily easily just get the actors facial expressions and all of that get that right and written the way you like it just blurry and you cannot even see well what's going on if you if you think that's the best way do that but give me good motion clarity for the rest of the movie because it looks ugly <laughs> looks ugly so let me share the settings I use to watch the movies because yeah <laughs> I feel very strong about this one I'm, I'm sure a lot of people are going to disagree with me but do this watch a movie with these settings and then go back to the blurriness if you can good for you just keep doing 
watching the movies at 24 frames per second. This is the way I, I watch the movies. So I go here to settings and I go to uh, picture, advanced settings. I go to clarity and then uh, through motion, user selection, DJR 10 Motion Pro Medium. So what DJR is motion interpolation. So DJR is going to create frames that don't exist. So basically, those 24 frames per second are going to be increased to like 120 frames. And on top of that, 120 frames, the TV is going to use black frame insertion with Motion Pro. And the result is going to be over 200 frames motion clarity on the TV, okay? Most likely 240 frames. That looks so good, man. <laughs> it looks so good. So it is not perfect. There are some motion interpolation artifacts that you can see uh, called you know, soap opera effect. There are like three or four kind of ar artifacts. Um, weird things that you can notice. But look at it in this way. If you see some weird things and sometimes you see some stutter, look at it in this way. The, the source material is low frame rate. So the TV is doing magic. It's not gonna work perfect all the time, okay? So most of the time you're going to enjoy amazing views and amazing camera uh, shots and it's gonna look so much better, man, so much better. But sometimes you're gonna see some weird things and the, t the algorithm is not able to, it's not perfect. So this definitely needs to improve and for my next TV, I am definitely looking for the best motion interpolation and motion pro I can get on the TV. That's going to be number one priority because sample and hold displays and it looks like we are they are not going anywhere. And that's the end, end game technology, which is just absurd. So sample and hold displays are blurry, so they need to rely on this kind of techniques to give you good uh, motion uh, clarity. So, for example, a plasma TV at 24 frames or 30 frames, it looks a lot more natural and so much more better than this at uh, 24 frames, just natively. The difference is just gigantic. But still, 24 frames, 30 frames is too low, too low. And I disagree with people that think, oh, you just have to accept it. 30 frames, 30 frames. SDR is SDR and HDR is HDR, so you cannot mix those. No, 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 no. I disagree. I disagree. This TV is 120 frames, okay? It can, it can do Motion Pro on top of that. It's HDR and it's white color gamma. I want to see every single content on this TV on the maximum. I don't want to see low frame rate HDR, low resolution content in Rec. 709 content. I do not want to. I want to see the widest color gamma content, the highest resolution content, the higher frame rate content with the best motion clarity I can get. It just makes sense to use your hardware to its fullest potential. It's like having a powerful you know, gaming PC and play retro games. You can do that, <laughs> but, but that's not why you spend so much money, you know? It's, it's just the way it is. So I'm not gonna use this TV to watch news, okay? At 720p with a logo here all the time. But if that's what you like to do, do it. <laughs> I'm just not going to do use it for that. So that's my opinion. Uh, let me know what you think about it. I'm sure a lot of people are going to disagree. But what I would say is this. Try these settings. Watch a movie that is not heavy on actors. So you're, because you know, if you're just see people on the screen talking, there's nothing moving. So you're not gonna see a big difference. Watch an animated movie. Watch something that has action. That is, things are going on on the screen. And, and then go back, <laughs> then go back and watch the blurriness and let me know. Let me know what you think about that. For example, I'm just looking at this elephant here, moving left to right on the screen and it's just, Perfect, perfect motion clarity. So that's what I'm looking for. Let me know.